Are you frustrated and stressed out because you can't get on your horse to ride due to injury or health? Or are you afraid that your horse's training will be set back? In this video, I'm going to cover five activities that you can do on the ground with your horse that do not require you to ride that are great for both you and your horse. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to share a pro tip for how you can help make sure that your horse's training does not get set back. So let's get right into it. Activity number one, lunge your horse. In this little video clip, I am free lunging my mare, Pippa, my straight Egyptian Arabian mare. And uh, this is a very good activity to do to keep your horse exercised and to keep them uh, motivated when you cannot get on to ride, whether due to injury, illness, maybe you've had a fall and you want to give yourself some time before getting back on your horse. When you do lunge, you want to go in both directions. In this uh, clip, I'm free lunging her. I do not have her on the end of a lunge line. So I'm just using the parameters of the round pen to keep her in a circle and keep her going. I have a long lunge whip in my hand, but I'm really not doing much with it because she knows this activity well enough to to know that uh, as long as she's lunging or going in a circle around me, uh, I stay at her hip or a little bit behind. I just turn in a circle and I keep the whip on the ground. Uh, if you really want to use that to change their gait, you can do that by um, slowing them down and speeding them up and use the whip a little bit on the ground as a motivation. This is mostly what you'll do when you actually have them on a lunge line and you're working on gait training or balance training, which can be done lunging on the ground and is usually some of the first training you're going to do with your horse. In this clip, you'll see my trainer has Pippa on the end of a long lunge line, and so you can get a picture of what that looks like. He's doing this before getting on to ride her. Uh, she has a lot of pent-up energy, and he wants to burn that off a little bit, just a couple minutes each direction, so it's very useful to use lunging for this as well before you ride, so you don't have to deal with all of that energy when you're in the saddle. The second activity is to teach your horse a skill, something on the ground, such as lowering their head for the halter. I recently did a video on this and I will link it below in the description uh, so that you can take a look at that video. Here's a few clips from it, but I think this is very important for the horse to be able to lower their head when you're asking them. They should always respond to pressure. If you put pressure on their pole, they should lower their head. If you put pressure for them to move away from you, they should move away from you. Uh, this is all part of ground respect and it does bleed over into riding and gives them much more respect for you when you're in the saddle. So uh, it's a very important activity to work on. You can also work on leading your horse. They should always follow you uh, when you're leading them. They should stop when you stop, go when you go. So it goes along with halter training, bridle training. This is another activity to do with your horse when you can't ride. Number three, you can have a grooming session, a bathing session, or a massage session. These activities are beneficial for the health of your horse, the health of their coat. It's also a good time for you to go over their entire bodies and make sure everything looks good and there's no cuts or anything strange going on that you haven't noticed. Uh, it's extremely relaxing for the horse. It's great as a bonding activity. So there's great benefits to grooming your horse and that is something you can do all of the time when you're riding or not riding, but you could do some special long sessions when you have the extra time if you're not in the saddle. Number four, you can practice braiding, braiding the mane, braiding the tail. There are tons of videos online here on YouTube. There are some books out there, of course, too. You can learn basic braiding and you can work on doing fancy show braids. It's something fun to do. Uh, well, it's fun if you get into it. I have to confess, it's not my strong suit, but this is an activity that you can work on with your horse. Number five, something that we seem to never have enough time to do is clean and organize our tack boxes, our trunks, and go through all of our supplies, take an inventory, make sure we have everything we need and we don't have double and triple of things. We're not buying things over and over again. Clean the saddle, clean the bridle. And this is something when you are done doing this, you will feel so good. 
Number six, my pro tip, if you are training your horse in a discipline, if you have showing goals on your agenda for this year and you don't want any interruptions whatsoever, while all of the ground activities are great, you are going to want to keep your horse with a trainer working for the time when you cannot be riding your horse. So make sure your trainer or the trainer that you're working with is lined up for the time you're off your horse. When you can get to the farm and watch these riding sessions with your horse, that's going to help you learn as well and this will keep your horse in the top shape and is the best thing to do if you want no interruptions at all I hope you've enjoyed all of the suggestions on ground activity. I hope you'll try some of them out. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing when you can't ride your horse. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.